Elsa has already dumped heavy rain, brought high winds, and caused street flooding in Key West. CBS 4's Ted Scouten has reported on Elsa's effects since before dawn. And Ted, how are the conditions there right now? Well, certainly looking much better than they were five hours ago, that's for certain. Uh, at that point, the winds were very strong, although uh, right now the winds were so strong that the rain was actually falling sideways. Just a little while ago, we actually saw the sun come out, so uh, looking a little bit better here. But you take a look back here at the ocean, uh, things are not looking so bad. Earlier today, the water was splashing out. Now, you can see it's much more calm. It was early in the morning when Elsa barged into Key West with big waves, but it didn't take long before Elsa began to flex more muscle. On the way to the pier over there, the, the wind kind of knocked me over. We had a, a decent gust and knocked me over. High waves knocked Eric Cunha over when he went out exploring at the White Street Pier. And once we got to the end of the pier, it was completely underwater, and we were just kind of wading in the water, and the waves were coming over the end of the pier, wah -bow, wah -bow, crashing over us. The sea remained rough all day, quite different than how it normally looks here. We got down here last Tuesday, and it, the, the water's been flat, very calm. And now? Three, four feet plus, maybe. I mean, they, they're, they're breaking all over the place. The wind picked up throughout the day. So did the relentless rain, getting very strong by late morning. You can see it racing over the sand. It's hard to walk. It's the rain is um, cutting really hard and it's windy. It's going horizontal, but it's um, it, it's it's blowing pretty hard. As the force of Elsa began to weaken, we saw some down branches and bent signs left behind, along with some localized street flooding, making driving tricky in places if you don't have an SUV or truck. Yeah, I think it's a combination of some rain and a high tide and it uh, hasn't been more than two feet or so and, and anywhere I have gone through. For tourists and locals who stayed in most of the day, they're happy that Elsa didn't wear out her welcome. This is a paradise that everybody loves so much. This is the price that we pay. Some people don't like it. I'm a local myself. I love it. And Monroe County says there are not many problems reported, just some power outages in Big Pine as well as Key West. As for the roads, they say they are clear throughout the Keys. Live in Key West, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. Ted, before you go, what's the latest on flights getting in and out of the Keys? Well, the latest on that, Elliot, is uh, when I checked just a few moments ago, most of the flights in and out of the Keys are canceled for this evening. It shows that there's one flight coming in, not sure if it's going to make it or not. So, uh, words of the wise, just check with the airline uh, before going out to the airport if you're trying to catch a flight to or from Key West. As for tomorrow, there are several cancellations that are on the books already. All right, Ted, thanks so much. And